towards metrical reconstruction of human faces. Reconstructing faces from unconstrained 2D images is an ill-posed problem. There are many non-face-like surfaces in the solution space that lead to the same image. To alleviate that, state-of-the-art methods leverage 3D morphable models constructed from large-scale 3D datasets and cast a reconstruction problem to a regression task. They use self-supervised learning to train this regressor from 2D datasets using photometric reconstruction losses. Here, you can see some qualitative results of the previous work. Please note that some predictions are characterized by strong regularization towards the mean phase. Moreover, these methods do not provide a metrical 3D reconstruction. We observe that current literature uses non-metrical evaluation schemes. Although the 3D morphable models are metrical, the used evaluation schemes are scale invariant. Thus, a good score in this benchmark does not mean that the 3D reconstruction is metrically correct. However, metrically plausible reconstructions are needed for any application where the face is put into a metrical context. For example, in augmented reality or virtual reality applications where humans and objects of known size are displayed. To illustrate, we render the prediction of faces of toddlers in a common metrical space using the same projection. State-of-the-art approaches trained in self-supervised fashion like DICA or the weekly supervised method FOCUS scale the face of an adult to fit the observation in the image space. Thus, the prediction in 3D is non-metrical. In contrast, our reconstruction method is able to recover the physiognomy of the toddlers. To quantitatively measure this difference, we propose a metrical evaluation scheme without a scale compensation. Evaluating the state-of-the-art method on this metrical benchmark gives a better view of the 3D plausibility of the face reconstructions. In contrast to the state-of-the-art methods on this benchmark, we propose to use existing paired 2D, 3D datasets to train an encoder network to predict metrical face shapes. To prevent overfitting to the training set, we leverage features from a pre-trained face recognition network to inherit generalizability and robustness. These features are then mapped to the shape space of the flame model. Given the paired 2D, 3D training data, we can employ a metrical reconstruction loss based on the geometry. Our data set consists of eight smaller data sets which we unified. For each scan, we register the flame mesh to obtain a common topology across all of the subjects, resulting in around 2,300 meshes. Using this unified data, we train our model to achieve state-of-the-art results on the current non-metric challenges by an error improvement of 15% in terms of the mean. We achieve an even more significant improvement of 24% on our proposed metric evaluation benchmark compared to the state-of-the-art method DICA of Fong et al. An interesting observation is that the flame average model performs better than most of the other methods. Here, we show some qualitative comparison of our method to state-of-the-art methods. Our method is robust to facial occlusions, pose, and expression changes. Looking at the side views of reconstructions, we can observe that our method can better recover face parts, like the jaw or nose, together with the overall head shape. It is essential to have consistent results for the same subject across multiple images. Our method achieves low variance compared to other methods while producing metrical reconstructions. We use our face shape estimator for a novel face tracking method. Specifically, we leverage the metrical estimation for an analysis by synthesis tracking approach. This tracking method uses differentiable rendering to optimize the per-frame expressions and rigid alignments of the face. 
we use a coarse to fine hierarchy with several internal optimization steps. Here, we compare our method to single image-based methods of Fong et al. and Deng et al., as well as the video tracking of Tease et al. We show a photometric reconstruction evaluation where our method achieves the lowest errors. To evaluate the metrical tracking, we use a sequence where we have a reference depth that has been reconstructed in a calibrated stereo system. As can be seen, our method achieves a significantly better depth alignment in comparison to the method of Tease et al. Note that the methods of Fong et al. and Deng et al. are not predicting a 3D spatial alignment of the face. Thus, a depth evaluation is not possible. Here we show additional qualitative sequences. As can be seen, our method better captures facial features like nose and lips. This sequence has challenging shaking camera motion and a large field of view mimicking a webcam capture. Thank you for watching.